Good morning, my friends. It is week 10. Week 9 in the cabin build, I forgot. It's all starting to blend together, but we're getting closer to driving the thing in. We're getting ready to do the roof trusses, so let's get out there. All right. Got another beautiful day. Hopefully we can get this roof on before it starts raining again. So we're on the final step. We're gonna build the interior closet walls and bathroom wall, and then prep the top of the walls for the roof trusses. So let's do it. like the floor plan of what we're doing there. So right now we're building this closet right there. And then we're gonna do this bathroom wall right there. Top insulation and waterproof membrane is here for the flat roof. Sam's making room for it. His old 7.3 down there. And uh, I think we're gonna put it right down here. And in that space, there's a lot of foam. So that is all the insulation for the flat top roof and uh, the rubber membrane. it up on on the edge and you've got this line and it should be square or you can use the 
the framing square is just critical before you sheet it. So it gets nailed up like that and then flush up. Um, it should all flush out. And if it's overhanging something four inches off the bottom is where it should. Oh yeah, that's it. And that, that's going to catch our... Just trying to catch like the top plate. The top plates of the wall. Yeah. Oh, quick explanation of what we're doing. So we're making truss blocks. A truss block is what spaces the trusses apart. The trusses are basically your roof. So it's gonna be the rooftop deck that you're gonna be walking on right there. So these have to sit two feet apart on the roof going all the way across. And we have to make these blocks to put in between them to hold them two feet apart and make them all stable. So I think we cut about 122 by fours to these certain lengths. And then you just pop them together into a square and you cut your plow with the appropriate size. And then you gotta get everything all squared up and nail it together. And then you get this in the end and it overhangs a little bit at the bottom to catch the wall. And uh, basically this is what a truss will be on this side and on this side and this just holds them apart nice and steady. And then you can insulate the roof that way also. Insulation, insulation just goes in the back side of this, just spray foam. And what I did here is just make a quick jig. So basically, you can see the line right there. And Sam drew that line earlier. Here's lining the boards up, but I figured to make a jig that's nice and square like that. Then all you have to do is grab one of your blocks up here, throw it into the jig, and that will get the boards nice and squared up. If you need to knock it around to get it square, you know, a little bit you can. And before you nail the plywood, you just check it. That's nice and square. So we're gonna lay our plywood on. Like so. And we're gonna get our plywood all lined up, squared up, and pop it into place. And the bottom of the plywood, it needs a four inch overhang to grab the wall below, tie everything in really solid. So that's why there's an overhang on it. So before we pop it in place, we'll just double check it. Good four inch overhang. Should be about four inch overhang. And there you have it. There is our truss block right there. I'm beat down, but we are ready for the trusses. Finished all those blocks and uh, calling it a day. We could do some video editing and chill out. What's up, guys? Oh, Mickey, what's up? Yeah. Alright y'all, little update. We are up on the flat top roof, putting up the trusses right now, which overhang the house about two feet, as you can tell. And on top of this flat top, we're gonna do a vapor barrier and some insulation, which is like a foot thick foam basically. And on top of that foam is a rooftop deck, so we'll get another two feet to go up. And uh, pretty sweet though, there's a the view.
I am beat down, but we did it. We got the roof, temporary roof on. It's supposed to piss rain tomorrow, so it is on. All the trusses are in, and uh, all we have to do is permanently nail down the plywood sheeting, then we're gonna do a vapor barrier, and then the foam insulation, the really thick foam, and then the rubber membrane, the waterproofing, and then the rooftop deck on top of that. Good day, I'm calling it. Ready to go do some video editing. It's back to my other job. Good morning, everybody. It is week, I don't even know. It's month, I don't even know. But we're getting there. Yesterday, we got the roof on the spiral staircase tower up there. We still have to waterproof it, but we get the sheeting on and just threw a piece of plastic over it for now. Basically, our next step is waterproof on the roof. So we have to have four days of no rain and it's the rainy season. It's been raining this entire build literally for months, every day almost. So it's been really tricky, but it looks like there's a break over the weekend coming up, of course. So I'm uh, probably gonna work through the weekend and put the waterproofing on. So basically what we have to do is take that foam right there, and fly it up there with the crane and we're going to uh, cut the foam to drain the water to one spot in the house to actual drain and once we get that foam cut we'll lay the rubber membrane down which is right here and this is the Firestone EPDM membrane super waterproof super burly it's what they use for commercial roofing and here's all the adhesive it's extremely particular. You have to put it on perfectly. Can't be any water. It has to be a certain temperature and you have to do it right for this membrane to be waterproof for 25 to 50 years. They say 50 years, especially since I'll have a rooftop deck floating over it. There won't be any UV rays or sun damage to the membrane. So that'll be good. But once we do that, it'll be waterproof and then I can build the, uh, the rooftop deck. So right now, obviously the house is soaked um, I'm doing my best to try to dry it out. Just got fans all over the place. You can see it kind of dried that out a little in this corner last night. So I'm gonna keep on rotating them around and try to dry it out in here. And since we can't do much in the roof for waterproofing today, I think we're gonna start on the Arctic entry and getting this all buttoned up out here. So we have to install a super tall post, I think 24 foot tall, into that piling right there. And it's gonna run up and catch the roof. There's gonna be like this big wing attached to the house and the stairs and everything will be all totally covered by this huge 20 foot by 14 foot wing. That way we don't have to shovel snow off it. But uh, and then the Arctic entry is going on top of that. I've also been doing a lot of thinking of what I wanna do with the downstairs exactly, because obviously, uh, got this extra bedroom over here and it's pretty large and uh, this is also a pretty large area out here the landing so what I'm going to do I think is not do a window here I'm gonna actually cut the door right here that way you can walk into the house here I'm gonna do a wall kind of right here and you'll be able to walk in that door and go right into the bedroom that way I can rent the bedroom out separate I'll do a little bathroom and everything in there. So it'll be like an Airbnb down here in this part of the house. But then I'm gonna have a pocket door right here that I can just leave open or closed when it's not for rent. That way there's rental income whenever someone's not home in the house. Um, you can rent out the Airbnb and uh, help pay for stuff a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do that. You guys can see how wet it is in here still. Um, as soon as we get the windows in, I'll really be able to dry it out and uh, close in the heat. Uh, we're also dialing in the wood stove the other day. So we've got a Blaze King wood stove kind of right here in the living room and it's gonna run straight up. Um, we're gonna be building the chimney box. We might also, we're gonna be doing that today or this week, uh, but building the chimney box right up in between the opening and the trusses and the chimney pipe will just run right out through the open. So 
right now we're lifting up the post that's going to hold up the wing roof. And we're going to fit it through the deck here. measuring temperature probably like nine right. nine inches above the bottom plate yep got it oh, wow. and this is where our beam that's supporting the whole wing roof out here is going to go through the wall, straight out the wall, and straight out to that post right out there. beams. We're getting ready to do the first of the rafters that are going to cover the front porch and Arctic entry out here. Pretty cool. We've got the beam all scribed through right there. Running all the way up and running into the house. And we'll get this outer beam all locked in. And we're gonna do the first raptor against the house. Um, it's gonna be shed roofs, so it's gonna start kinda of high and slope down. And you know, that'll shed all the snow that way. That way you don't have to shovel any snow off any of the stairs or the deck. And it covers the Arctic entry as a roof. Pretty cool. Guess what? <laughs> it is absolutely pouring outside again. But guess what? We get to build anyway, so let's go. Birds, you guys gonna be good? They're taking a nap up there in the loft. Today we're gonna put on the rafters for the Arctic entry and uh, stairs. Let's do it. obviously completely soaked um, somehow my feet are dry I've got a freaking pair of a uh, brunt boots on and uh yeah I don't know how they're dry but they're dry anyway we're coming along we get all the Raptors up for the porch and uh, we're getting ready to fly plow it up and that's about it We are coming along, We're getting ready to uh, sheet this thing right now. Plywood's all flown up, and uh, yep. Finish up this piece and this piece and those right there, and then we're good. Then the wing is built to uh, cover the stairs and the deck. Sam's getting ready to send some plywood up. 
You can see the edge of the deck down there and you can see the roof overhanging it right there. All right, everybody, another day. Let's go. Oh, by the way, if you guys want one of these Truck House Life hats, truck around and find out. Shoot me an email at truckhouselife at gmail.com. Truckhouselife at gmail.com. Um, out of camo, I believe, but I think I've still got a few red ones and a whole bunch of pink ones. And pink is the new black. I got myself a pink out of wear all the time. So anyway, just saying. Parakeet, say hi. That's right. Let's go. So we're short a piece and a half of plywood. So I went into town with the car last night. Picked up all the remaining boards we need to build the Arctic entry this morning. And a couple sheets of ply. As you guys can see, here is the wing roof right there. So that roof right there covers the front deck and all the stairs going down so that we don't have to shovel them in the winter time. Kind of nice. So we're gonna get the rest of the plywood up in there today and uh, get it ready to go. It's pretty cool too, you can see the glue lamp beam right there holding it up so that's gonna be all exposed. I have to get it all stained up and looking good, but it's pretty neat. Wing roof is sheeted. We're good to go. I gotta let it dry out. Once it dries out, we'll throw some gray ice and water shield over it, and then the uh, red metal roof be good to go. In some sort of miracle, we are supposed to get a very short window of good weather. We only have a couple days and it cannot rain when we do this to put the foam insulation down that's gonna insulate the flat top roof and then put the rubber membrane over that. So in order to prepare for that, I have to put a drain that's gonna collect all the water like a big bathtub on top of the flat top roof and pipe it into this drain and shoot it out at the bottom of the house. But the catch is, is that drain is actually four feet inside of the house and right in the center of the house. So I have to figure out a way to plumb about 30 feet up to the roof. I gotta figure out how to plumb this right now because we're gonna start waterproofing the roof tomorrow. So I have to get that drain ready. So let's do it. So the first thing we have to do is figure out exactly where the pipe is gonna run from the rooftop deck all the way down 30 something feet to the basement and then out of the house. So I do know that the drain for the flat top roof is in the middle of the house. The rooftop deck is 32 feet wide by 28 feet deep. Half of 32 feet wide is 16 feet. So I know that drain is 16 feet off that outer wall. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go mark where that drain is right now. And I'll show you guys. So I've got it marked and my dot is right on my mark, laser dot. And if you look up the wall, you'll see my dot up there. I'm gonna get on ladder and uh, drill through that dot and we'll continue on up to the next level from there. All right. Let's go see where it is. There it is. There. There's our hole through to our basement. You can see the sewer hole down there. Now I'm gonna check this hole right here and make sure it's halfway in the house, so 16 feet from the edge over there. For the record, I am absolutely not a professional. I've actually never really done this. You just kinda, I don't know, 
I just use the method that makes sense to me and it seems to get me through a lot of stuff in life. So that's what I'm doing now. As you guys can see, I just ran my tape from the outer wall to right here where I drilled. And it is 16 in the money to the center. It can totally be off a little bit, but it's on. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna set the laser right over this and shoot it straight up and drill through to the third floor. And you guys can see our next spot to drill is right there in that dot. Let's get it. I basically drilled like right up into my bathroom wall. Oh, it's frustrating. It's so close. And we'll go upstairs and show you guys the problem. There's the hole. And you probably can't see it, but I'm hitting the bottom plate. So I'll show you what that is. Oh, what a bummer. So close to working perfect. Oh, look at that. So close. So it's just eating up through this, which I almost ate through it now, I guess, but I can't do that. I'm going to move it over. Let's make that adjustment. So I'm going to move it over here drill a new hole, and then I'll have to line it up and go through the bottom floor like that too. All right, y'all, we are in the upstairs master bedroom bathroom, and we fixed it. So you can see there's our old hole that was up under the bathroom wall, bottom plate. Here's our new one right here. So, so normally I would go ahead and do some ABS black cement and use a coupling and then put the next one on top. I'm not gonna do this yet. I'm not gonna lock everything in until we know exactly where that rooftop drain is gonna be 100%, so I'm gonna leave this can here. But we're gonna go ahead and play with it a little bit. And uh, just see how it would sit. Oh, wait, can this work? I'm not too upstairs. Okay. That's why I cut the holes a little bit bigger because I knew I'd have to start at an angle. There you go, let's go see how it looks upstairs. And there we go, so it's coming out of the corner of the bathroom. That'll be my coupling. All right, guys, we'll get it all figured out. It's pretty late, almost 10 o'clock. Pretty much dark now. Let's go check out the rooftop deck real quick before we leave. And we get to assemble the spiral staircase tower, obviously, but off we go. This isn't even the deck. The deck is gonna be level with basically that wall. So the guardrails are gonna be on top of that, but beautiful out. And the rooftop drain is going to be right up there. I got it marked. You can really see it because it's getting dark, but there you have it. It's starting to get cold. You can see the breath. I throw a hoodie on. The leaves are beginning to fall and turn yellow. So uh, we're gonna try to start getting the roof on today. It's time. So we're gonna get all that up on top of that roof. All right, this is it. It begins. We're getting ready to insulate and seal slash waterproof the flat top deck. As you can see, this is why we're doing this today. This is like the first sunny day we've had in weeks and the leaves are starting to fall off the trees. We get to get this roof waterproof like now. So we're trying to let it dry out from the weeks of rain. This plywood was under a vapor barrier and it's still like, there's some pinholes and stuff in it, but it's still soaked. So that sun's drying it out. And first thing we're gonna do is build the box that the chimney comes out of. So it's gonna be in that corner. Here's the stuff to do it. We're using a company called Insel Foam. These guys are legit. We got it through Spinar Builder Supply through uh, Galco, the roofing division. And basically what this foam is, is it's tapered. So it's gonna be about around a foot tall on the outsides of the roof. And it's all gonna taper in as it goes towards the center of the roof. And there'll be a drain over there that collects all the rainwater and pipes it down through the house and out and away from the foundation. So that's how you drain a flat top roof. There'll also be these things called scuppers 
which are going to be uh, just an outside and the low side in case there's some overflow and the drain can't handle it. But it's a pretty big drain, so it should be fine. Anyway, we get the vapor barrier down as the first step. Next step, we're going to lay the foam out and uh, we have to kind of carve it a little bit and cut it. So we'll make sure it's all laid out. And then over that, we'll do the rubber membrane. It's a Firestone rubber guard, EPDM rubber membrane. All that stuff's gonna come up to about here. And then we're gonna do the rooftop deck on top of that, resting on top of the foam and the rubber membrane. So that's what's up, let's get to it.
can see, we have put the foam down. This is the first five inches of foam. Like I was saying, there's about 13 inches all the way down to seven inches where the drain is. So uh, this is all the easy part. This is all the same height foam, all five inches. So now comes the complicated part. We're flying up all the tapered foams. This foam is pre-tapered. We're gonna have to cut it so that it goes to the rooftop deck drain right there. And as you can see, I don't know how long that weather's gonna hold, but hope it doesn't come in this way. Sam's down there flying everything up with the crane here. Still nice out right now. Let's hope this weather holds. If you guys order any kind of tapered foam, it's gonna come with a map like this. It shows you individual pieces where they're supposed to go. Then you might wind up having to cut them a little bit to fit into those places. So we've got the base layer down and uh, now we're doing the individual slip pieces. So we're starting at the drain. And you can see how these are all labeled so we know what slope downhill. And you can see the taper right there. So it's thinner in this part, thicker in that part. That way, it, that way it slows about a quarter inch a foot and drains the water off. So we're gonna get all this figured out and organized and uh, start throwing it down. Everybody, here's a little update. If you can't tell, we are just about done. One layer of foam, then the tapered layer of foam. So you can't see it maybe on camera, but everything pitches from the outer walls right to the center where we're gonna put that drain. And uh, all the water is gonna drain out right here. It sounds crazy, but down into the house and over to the wall and down and out of the house. We're gonna finish carving out a little bit of foam to fit right there, and then uh, we're gonna throw some fiberglass mat down, and then the commercial rubber membrane, waterproof membrane goes on top of that. And over there you can see the box where the chimney and all the plumbing is gonna stick out. We are completely tapered in. We're putting in the drain right now. This is the den's deck. Yeah, I cut my finger. Um, this is where the rooftop drain is going to drain all the water off the roof. So we're gonna find the hole. Let me know when you're good. So Sam is drilling from the inside with a hole saw right now. We're gonna stick our drain down through here. And should be good to go. Here it is. Almost 10 p.m. I am beat, but we got it, man. We got it. Let's see it all. It's going down to the drain right here. So uh, we're gonna fly this off the roof really quick with the crane, install this drain, hook up my pipes to it, drill a hole in the house, and then we're gonna put plastic just for now, just to guide water, because it's supposed to rain like tonight, like half an inch or something. barrier leads to the hole. I'm gonna go hook up the plumbing. We're good. 